All right, meantime, how about Mookie Betts now? Because of uh, attrition on this club, injuries, they suddenly are, they, they don't have any shortstops. The Padres have 10 of them, and they use Mookie Betts at shortstop. What do we think of that? I bet he turns a 6-3 double play. The first ball hit to him in 10 years at shortstop. Dansby Swanson, Wander Franco, they don't have any 6-3 double plays this year. This guy's turned one but, ground ball into a 6-3. Let me just throw this up. Maybe they, they're more comfortable flipping the ball. Maybe Mookie didn't want to flip the ball. I hadn't flipped the ball in a while I, like I, that, I, right? I don't know. <laughs> right? Hey, no, I mean, look, it was an athletic play. I'm not I'm not knocking him. I'm saying yeah. the, the ranking maybe. that. Like it's something they just, they're you're, tossing. I just want to kill my stat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been 10, 11 years <laughs> since he's played shortstop. He's got like 14 minor league games in total in which he's played shortstop. I mean, this is a lot of play. He's showing off a little bit right there. I it's like it. It's unbelievable. At 30, you know, having, you know, not played there. Check out his scouting report from back in the day, right? Way right. back when. He's prospect in the minor leagues. And look, he's got the high right, highlight reel defense plays. Played a lot more minor league second base than he did shortstop. And the report said his arm is better suited for second base than for the left side of the infield. Now he's got a good arm for the outfield. We've seen that for sure. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I think this is one that taking ground balls before a game and having fun with it, and even practicing it is a lot different than doing it in a major league game and major league pace of play. I think he's got to stay in right field. I really do. Plus, you play him at shortstop, you're less at shortstop, and you're less in right field. Mm. For me, I'd rather have a guy playing shortstop, he, whatever he is, right. that's a shortstop. And have him and, dominate. And, and, and right let field. him yeah. dominate. I right haven't field. seen anything Mookie Betts can't do. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And, I like, he's excited about this. I talked to Dave Roberts over the winter. He was lobbying heavily to be the everyday second baseman. You know, I am thinking along the lines of it's like putting Aaron Judge in center field. Are you draining something from the guy that you don't want to drain? This might be a more live wire guy who can play shortstop. He's 30, but he's like he's a different athlete, right? Yeah, I think moving a guy from right field to shortstop is different than right field to center field. Oh he yeah, no, it's much athlete. harder. Yeah. Right? No, no. I, mean, I feel like if Judge were going to move to play first base, and we and he, remember he's taking ground balls at first base, Judge in spring training, we're all like, really? They might consider that. <laughs> Uh, but I don't I mean I don't think they are, but I, I don't love this for them. But it points mm. to the lack of depth that they have right now as an organization. Yeah, yeah. They're on austerity now, the, the Dodgers, yes. <laughs> compared <laughs> to the poor Dodgers. Here's the lineup. Mookie Betts is back in, in the outfield, I believe, today. We're leading off back in right field. So Luke Williams, who's had a bunch of starts at shortstop there. Just to point out, like, again, it was amazing that they're thin. It's the Dodgers and the Cubs. That's coming up 2 o'clock Eastern right here on MLB Network. Do you see, I'm just uh, I'm losing my mind. James Altman plays like a phenomenal outfield. He's a good player, man. He He's got a, he hit a home run and hit two runs and threw a guy out. Home plate. Yeah. He's got a hose of an arm. Muncie is playing well. So, look, it's not the little sisters of the poor. They just don't have that outrageous depth that they've had. They, they, they were kind of the standard of look at the depth. This is how you build a winner. They were so, so deep, especially at shorts. Stop. Uh, oh, absolutely. Look, th that was a monster roster last year, and they had a season for the ages, except for the part where they forgot to win a postseason series. And I think it's a reminder to them that you don't have to build that roster to win the World Series. You can adjust as you go along. You can make deals in July. You can plug the holes. You can give young players a chance and still be great in October. I think that's still the plan. Yeah. I don't have them making the playoffs this year, the Dodgers. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't love their I mean, lineup. You say outrageous. Is this just an no. outrageous Steve thing? I like, don't love their, <laughs> I don't love. No, everybody says, well, the, the Dodgers, they always make it. Well, tell me why. They don't have either see, turn to the left side of the infield. You see the lineup that they're still rolling out I there? see the lineup thrown out there. Seven, eight, nine. That lineup is three. That's three innings a game that are outs for me. Trace Thompson and, and, and Luke mm. Williams and Austin Wins is the catcher. So, yeah, I've got some real concerns. I've got concerns about their bullpen, which has not been very good so far this year. So, I, yeah, i got to tell you, I don't love their roster. They still have a, a good high end in the rotation, and Will Smith is hurt right now when he's back, right. and you have love maybe him. the third best catcher in the game back there. All right, where are you on that? Dodgers playoffs? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I, I just, just wonder where you were. Re, re, rewind the tape at some point. <laughs>